Today, I'll show you how to set up a custom professional email address from your own domain using your own name, fully customized and fully free as well. So as you can see here in Gmail, I can receive emails from my custom domain. I can also send them out from my custom domain here. So to do this, we're gonna be using Cloudflare's new email routing feature. So they added this a few months ago. It's in beta, but it works really well. I'm gonna combine this Cloudflare email routing with um, SendInBlue's free sending SMTP service. So combining those together, I can actually send and receive emails in Gmail from my own custom email address. So I'll show you how to set this up. This is completely free. So if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. All right, so in my Cloudflare dashboard here, I've got a domain on Cloudflare for the demonstration, Ideaspot XYZ. Uh, this is just a blank website. This will work with basically any kind of domain setup. Um, Ideaspot XYZ, I've not, nothing's on here at the moment, just this test website. All I wanna do is make an email address. So I'm gonna make alex at Ideaspot XYZ as an email address, and I'm get, gonna get those emails to forward into my Gmail box here. So let's get started doing that. So let's head to our domain here, and you'll see that you've got email beta here on the left. And let's have a look at this. All right, mine looks like this, but the first time you use it, you'll actually trigger this wizard. So you can get started with email routing, um, clicking that one, and then it'll take you to this page where you can actually do this quick setup. So you set up your custom address. In my case, I'd use Alex, and it'll be at um, Ideaspot XYZ. So your domain will be there, and you can put whatever you like for your custom address. And then you send it to wherever you want to send it to. In my case, I'm going to send it to my Gmail account, Ideaspotclass at gmail.com. So um, you can go ahead and use this method, or I'll show you how to set up manually on the dashboard here as well. All you need to do is click Enable Email Routing. It does exactly the same thing. Enable Email Routing there. And now it's just a matter of adding these records to your DNS. So let's go ahead and do that. All I've got to do here is just open the DNS here, and this will load up our DNS records. So at the moment, simple web page only has a couple DNS records on here. We can start adding these records. So the first ones we're going to add are MX records. So click MX as the type there. The first one is MX um, route one at mxcloudflare.net. So I'll just copy that and that's going to be priority 92. So that goes there. At is for root, priority is 92. Awesome. And then I just repeat that for the other MX uh, servers here. So route two. I'll just skip ahead because I'll add those. The only thing that's different is priority 92, 1, and 50. So let's add those on. So I've added all of those MX type records on here, root 1, root 2, and root 3. Uh, priority 92, 1, and 50. That lines up with these ones here. And you'll see it automatically changes the status there to added. Last one here is our text record for the SPF. So we copy that one here. That goes in as a text record on the root as well. So add a record. We add the text on here. There we go at for root, the record goes in there and we save that in. Awesome, so these are all four of these records are successfully added, add records and enable there, and we are good to go. Next thing we do is roots. So roots here, if you cover this during the, um, the setup wizard, you'll already have your roots in here, but we can add additional roots or change them as we like through here. So we create an address, a custom address. So I'm gonna do Alex, uh, Ideaspot XYZ, and we're gonna send that to um, Ideaspot class at gmail.com. There we go. I just bought class at gmail.com. A confirmation email will be sent to this address. So let's save that in and we'll get that in our Gmail. It says pending verification. So in my Gmail, I can see now that I've got that confirmation email there. We've got a verification button there that'll go through and we'll verify our email. So that looks all good. We can go back to our routing options in uh, Cloudflare. If I reload that page, we should get uh, all green on here. So that's green, that's active and overview, we've got uh, green there and green there. So it looks, this looks all good to go. We should be able to receive emails from Alex at Ideaspotxyz into that Gmail now. So we can actually go ahead and test this out. I'm gonna send a test email to Alex at Ideaspotxyz just to test it and let's send that through. And in a minute we should receive our new email in here. And sure enough, that's come through just fine. I've received the email that was sent to uh, Ideaspotxyz here from Alex and it's come into my Gmail just fine here. So that looks all good. That's really all there is to it. You can set up your emails on your custom domain and receive them all in your Gmail box. So that's very easy. I know the obvious next question is, how can I send emails from my Gmail under this 
custom domain. That is possible. It's a little bit more work, but I know a lot of you will want to learn how to do this. So I'm going to go and cover a method of how to do this actually for free. So um, stay with me if you want to learn that. Um, let's get into that part. So in order to send emails for free reliably, we need a decent SMTP service. So we can use Send in Blue, have a good free plan. Also Mailjet, have a good free plan. So um, either of these are good. Um, send in Blue is probably my preference. I've got a link in the description if you want to try this out, but they let you send 300 emails per day um, verified from your own domain. So go ahead and um, uh, sign up if you haven't already, but I'll head over to my dashboard and show you how to set this up. So from our dashboard, we've got our settings up in the top right there. We can go to senders and IP. We're going to add our domain to send in blue and verify it. So we're going to actually head to domains here, add a new domain. We're going to add that Ideaspot XYZ on here. So your domain will go in there. I've got Ideaspot XYZ for the demo. I would like to use this domain to digitally sign my emails. So they let you do this for free on the free plan. So tick that one, click save. Now we have to go through the verification process. This is a little bit tedious, but I'll show you how to do this. Basically, what we're going to do here is we've got one, two, three, four records. We're going to copy these records into our Cloudflare DNS here. So let's go ahead and do that. So as you're doing it, pay attention to that top line here. We have to make sure we get that part right. The mail domain key is the uh, host that we're going to connect this to. So that is a text record. And we're going to add that record. That is a text record. There we go. The host is going to be mail.domainkey with the underscore at the front there. And then we copy this record here and go ahead and paste that in there. Save that in. Awesome. Now the next one is a little bit interesting because we are doing the SPF record. So I'll copy that one, but you'll notice that we already have an SPF record in here for Cloudflare. So what we're actually gonna do here, is we're gonna combine these together. So the Cloudflare one's already there and let's go and paste in that send in blue one there. We wouldn't copy, we wouldn't copy this MX part and the include send in blue part there and put that in at the end there with a space after the .net. So then we've got include Cloudflare and include send in blue space MX and then a space between that wiggly line and all. So that looks all good. Awesome. After you've added these, you can actually click verify. So I'll verify this one. We should get a green tick. There we go. And if we click this one, we should get a green tick as well. That looks all good. So they, those are working. Let's go ahead and do the other ones now as well. The next one is a text record on the root there. So let's copy that. Add that in as a text record. Text at content all good next one is underscore d mark there we go add record text there we go underscore d mark and the record here we can click copy there paste save all good now we should be able to uh, verify these now good good i'm done and this should change to um, authenticated after this. I might just reload that and see if we've got it authenticated now. Yeah, that's cool. Um, hang on, wait. Not yet. Reload. That should be all good. It just hasn't updated. If I click there. Yeah, that, those look all good. Click I'm done. Can take a minute. Yeah, that looks that's okay now. I just bought XYZ is authenticated. So yeah, that can take a, a second or two to authenticate. But this looks all good now. Right now that we've authenticated our domain, we can get some credentials to go ahead and actually uh, send email from our Gmail using this domain. So let's go to SMTP API here, and then we head to our SMTP tab here, and we're gonna use these to uh, create a username and password. So we create a new SMTP key. We're gonna name this one um, CF demo for Cloudflare demo. And we're going to get a password here. Copy that. Keep it safe for this. And we're going to use that later. So this is a fairly long password. So I'm going to keep that handy for our next step. So I'll just keep it in a notepad, but keep it safe for our next step. One important note before we proceed, because we're using Gmail, we need to add two-step authentication to your Gmail account. If you haven't already done that, you can go to myaccount.google.com, type two and then a dash. You can find the two-step verification set up there. If you haven't done that already, get that done before you go on with this tutorial. All right, our SMTP settings are here. We're gonna use those in just a second along with our passwords. So let's head over back to Gmail uh, in our inbox here. Head to our gear icon and see all settings. And under accounts and import, what we're gonna do is under send mail as, we can add another email address here. So in my case, I wanna add um, alex 
Oh, idea spot X, Y, Z there, but you put your own in there. Untick tree as alias, and we go to our next step. And then we're going to put our SMTP details in here. So those are from our um, SMTP settings in Send in Blue. So I'll put these in here. Okay, so these are in. The username is our email address from Send in Blue, and the password is that long password we created. And the SMTP server is the SMTP relay sendinblue.com. We're going to have port 587, secured connection, and the account. That looks all good. All we have to do is get our confirmation email and confirm. So let's close out of this, head back to our inbox. And sure enough, we've got our confirmation email here. They've got a link there we can click that will confirm our email. There we go. So Gmail may now send mails as Alex at ideas.xyz. Head back to our mailbox there. And let's compose. And we should see that we now have the option of sending email as Gmail, also sending email as Alex at ideas.xyz. And there's actually a few tweaks we can do if we want to set our custom one as the default one as well. So if you go back to your settings gear there, see all settings, we can actually go to, um, when you go to, where is it? The accounts and import, we'll just minimize that. Send mail as um, ideas.xyz. You can actually make that default if you like, and that will be the default option when you send email from your Gmail. It'll be from your custom email. And you can also um, always reply to the default address, or you can reply to the same address from which the message was sent. So if someone was writing to your Gmail, you'd reply from the Gmail automatically. If someone was writing to your um, custom one, it would reply automatically from the custom one. So I think that's probably the better one there, the top option there. You can decide which one you want as default. We can make that one default for this example anyway. That looks all good. Um, we can go back here and if we can compose, we can see that's the default one is automatically selected. So let's send a test email. So I've set up a test email there. I'll send it over and see how that works. Cool. So that arrived in my other inbox just fine here. You'll notice that um, you've got a default gray, um, default blank avatar there. I'll show you how to add your Gmail avatar on here so other Gmail users can see your avatar. The other thing you wanna do is go over here to those three dots and show the original message and check the headers. So we just check in our original message there that we've got SPF, DKM and DMARC getting passes there. So that's passing all of um, Google's spam and security checks there. All right, to set up the avatar, that's my avatar here for the example on Google. We head over to myaccount.google.com. We search for email here and go ahead and click that one email. That'll bring you here. We've got this one called alternative email. So we add an alternative email there. We'll get asked to sign back in. So let's go ahead and do that. We get prompted to add your alternate email. Just put in your email there. In my case, I'm using the Alex at ideas.xyz. Add that on. There we go. Verification is needed. So we'll head over to our inbox. We get an email looking like this one. Go there and we click here to verify this request. And this should be you going through okay. We'll have to sign in again and you'll get a um, verification down there saying it was verified. So that looks all good. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up. We've got our um, avatar here for Gmail as well. So that looks all really nice. That's coming from our custom email. So there we go, custom domain, free email, sending and receiving into our Gmail box. What more could you ask for? Hit like if this has been useful, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.